In these series of videos, we will be working on the foot to a robot using biomimicry to design and create it. However, before we begin modeling our foot, we should go over a couple of the basic camera controls. First, if we right click, we can rotate the camera. You can also rotate the camera by left clicking and dragging on the view cube and clicking on the sides of the view cube go to the respective sides. The arrows do the same thing. Lastly, if you hold the middle mouse button, you can pan the view. Additionally, you can zoom in and out by scrolling with your mouse wheel. All of these camera controls are also visible in the top right in gray. You can always return to your home view by clicking on the home button next to the view cube. Because we'll be working with another file in this project and we're only designing one component, we should do some quick measurements to see the size of the foot that we should create. Here I've made a square and displayed the dimensions. Notice that we should make this foot that fits in roughly about this square, 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. We should also note the way that the foot will attach to the leg. If we look at the bottom of the leg here, we can see that this socket that the foot will attach in has a radius of about 5 millimeters. Besides using some of the basic tools in 123D design, we'll be using one of the more complex tools to make the curvature of our foot. This will be the sweep tool. The sweep tool is under the construct tab. When you click on sweep, we have two selectors. We have the profile and the path. Sweep works by taking a profile and sweeping it along the path. Using the sweep tool we can make some fairly complex geometry very quickly. In the next video we'll actually start creating the geometries of this foot.